Alright, time to talk about the best techniques for inserting, deleting, hiding, and unhiding columns in rows. You can fill new data in table and excels only by adding new rows or new columns. The easiest way to add a new row, for example the row above row 12, is to point to row 12 and right click, then insert, and add the new row inserted. Pretty straightforward, right? This technique is useful if we only have one data table. But in this worksheet, we have two tables. Notice that the new row was implemented in both data tables. We have to find another method to insert a new row only in table 1. So the bottom line here is to be careful when you're using the insert row method. Let's undo with Ctrl plus Z. Select the specific data from the first table, in row 12, from A12 to E12. OK. Now right click, insert, And from this insert dialog box, select the option shift cells down and OK. Take a look now, the table with countries is intact. For the lovers of the keyboard, there is a shortcut, Control plus plus to activate, insert, and similar Control plus minus to activate, delete. Let's try them. With Control plus, the insert dialog box opens. And with Control minus, the delete dialog box opens. That simple. Undo again. Sometimes we have to insert two or three new rows or columns. For example, before columns B and D. Highlight these two columns with the Control key and then insert. We get a new column to the left of those two columns. To delete the new columns, we follow a similar way. Hold down Control again. Highlight them. Right click and delete. Now I want to show you a really quick, really efficient way to hide data. Usually I want to hide data if I don't want to print them. Again, hold down the control key, highlight the rows you want to hide, right click and hide. To unhide a specific row, you highlight the rows above and below this. Right click and unhide. Of course, if you have many hidden rows or columns, a nice trick is to click in the upper left corner, right click and unhide. Thanks for watching.